Welcome to Spiritual Inspirations, a podcast brought to you by Science of Spirituality and Sant Rajinder Singh Ji Maharaj, a world-renowned spiritual master who teaches SOS meditation on the inner light and sound of God. Thank you for subscribing, and please share this with others who seek to live spiritually rich and fulfilling lives. Meditation has valuable benefits to our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health. Sant Rajinder Singh Ji Maharaj provides practical tips and strategies for how we can improve our body, mind, and soul through meditation. Practiced by millions of people worldwide, SOS meditation is easy to learn and can transform your life. Realize yourself through meditation. In finding purpose in our life, we often reflect on who we are and what should be our life's goal. Are we only a physical body and our mind, or is there more to who we are? In this podcast episode, Sant Rajinder Singh Ji Maharaj provides a technique to help us realize our inner self through SOS meditation. So even though our soul is full of light, full of love, enlightened, we don't experience it. Just like these, these are big lamps there, they throw a lot of light. If, if we put four thick blankets on them, no light will come forth. So God has given us this human opportunity of being in the human body where God has provided all the faculties for every human, irrespective of where they're born, what faith they believe in. Being in the human body, we have all the faculties that are required to know ourselves. So we can learn the techniques of peeling these bodies off and getting to our soul. And once we get to experience our soul, which is self-realization, then it's not difficult to have experience of God, which is God-realization. So the first step is to know ourselves, is to realize ourselves that we are soul, we are a part of God, we are full of the love and light of God. And that happens as we meditate, as we focus our attention within, as we take it off from the world outside and go on the spiritual journey, uh, we start to realize who we are. Right now we think we are a human being, we have been given a name and uh, based on whatever professions we get into, uh, we think we are that. I mean, if you learn engineering, you think you are an engineer, if you learn medicine, you think you are a doctor. If you learn accounting, you think you're an accountant. If you learn nursing, you think you're a nurse. And so, based on whatever uh, areas we have, we have developed our expertise in through the education process, we start to think of ourselves as that, not realizing that this existence is limited. This existence is only for 50, 60, 80, 100 years, and lifespan is getting longer and longer as, as medical technology is improving. Long time ago, the lifespan was around 50, and now it's gotten to be around 70 or 80, and I mean, it's getting longer and longer and longer, with more medical uh, developments coming up. But it still is limited. We have this opportunity to know ourselves, to know God. Those who make use of the opportunity will reach their goals. And so to get God, we need to let go. And we need to let go of all that bothers us. Because if we don't let go of all that bothers us, it's going to keep on coming back and the wound is going to never be able to be healed. And, and as we learn those techniques of, of forgetting and forgiving, then compassion in our being will come out loud and clear. And the law of compassion uh, is what we would be working on. And when we do that, then there's peace, there's harmony, there's love in our lives, and, and that is needed for us to be able to truly focus on ourselves. You know, there's turmoil in our life, because if there's turmoil at all times, whenever we think about something, whenever we have a problem, there's a little turmoil, there's no way that we can get away from it. Our attention just goes into that and he just can't get out. It goes on and on and on, like a 
old video being into the replay mode. It finishes, starts again and starts again, starts again. So you have to stop it, you have to let go of it. And, and then only are we in a situation where we can take off as we go on the spiritual journey. The unfolding of a real self happens and as that happens, you know, there's happiness, there's joy because we are experiencing the reality of our existence. And as we experience the reality of our existence, then we are getting closer and closer to who we actually are. And as we experience ourselves at that level of the soul, you know, there's happiness, there's joy because the journey within in the journey of love is a journey of light. To find God, we need to be loving. Why? Because love takes two and makes them to be one. Love unites. Love, love unites our soul with God. We think we're different than God. It's because of our ego. We feel we're different from everyone else, but it's the love of God which makes us experience that we're not different from God, we're one and the same, we're a part of that whole. That we're a drop of the same ocean of consciousness, and just like we're drops, there are other drops also. And so, there is no one other anymore. The realization that we're one with God makes us realize we're also one with everyone else. And when that realization really happens, then there's only love that flows from us to everyone else. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Spiritual Inspirations. To explore more about SOS Meditation on the Inner Light and Sound, visit our website at www.sos.org. Also, please visit Sant Rajinder Singh Ji Maharaja's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram pages for a schedule of his world tours and public programs at any of the over 3,000 Science of Spirituality centers around the world. Please feel free to share this podcast with a friend, and we'll see you in the next episode.